So good morning, J12 students. In this session, we're going to continue with the exercises of the chapter nine about the function of neurons. And here we move to exercise four. Exercise four is one of the most important exercises in this chapter. So pay attention to this exercise. This exercise, we said the motor neuron represented in document one. Where is the motor neuron? It's presented in document one. This is the motor neuron. It has the letter M. So whenever I say M, and capital so this is the motor neuron this is found in the spinal cord what does it do it integrate but the matrix is coming in from many sources to assure a coordinated response of the effector organs like the muscles and others so it's in contact with the terminal bands of sensory receptors or of interneurons so i'm not interneurons they have other names they are called associative neurons they are found exclusively in the spinal cord and in the brain. In order to register the activity of this motor neuron, we have to record or register the activity of this motor neuron that is represented in document one. So we have a recording microelectrode. This is the microelectrode, a recording microelectrode that is shown on an oscilloscope is inserted into the cell body. So I'm the insertion of the uh, microelectrode, a recording microelectrode inside the cell body of this motor neuron. And all of these, they are presented in document one. Also, we have a number of affected, effective, sorry, stimulations they are applied. We have stimulation S1, S2, S3, and we have S4. So we have four different effective stimulation, S1, S2, S3, and S4. These effective stimulation, they are found on different points. For example, S1 on point A, S3 on point B, S2 on point C, and S4 on point D. So we started step by step to record the obtained recording for the membrane potential in millivolt as a function of time in millisecond that are shown here in documents 2 and 3. So this is document two, or document three, this is document three. Let's start step by step. Before we start, this we have to correct here. We have here S1, after stimulation, S1. Here we have after stimulation, S2. Here we have after stimulation, they put S2. So please correct this into S3, okay? So this one is S3 and not S2. And then they did S4, and followed by S3, S4 and S3 together. Okay, so please pay attention to this. We have tracing the electrodes obtained after stimulation, S1. Here, after stimulation, S2. Here, after stimulation, S3. And here, after stimulation, S4 and S3. Okay, so let's start step by step. The part one or part A, as mentioned in the question. What do they want? They want to specify the type of synapses in each of the following cases, justify your answer. So if I ask you, what are the different types of synapses? Let's see, according to their function, what are the different types of synapses? Yes, let's see. What are the different types of synapses according to their function? Yes, what are the different types of synapses according to their function? What do you think, Yasamar? What are the different types of synapses according to their function? According to their function, how many different types of synapses do we have? Yes, Yasamar. What do you think? What are the different types of synapses according to their function? Inhibitory. Inhibitory synapse. This is the first one. And the second, the opposite of inhibitory. It's an. Yes, but yeah. Inhibitory, the first oh, one. Excitatory. Excitatory. Well, here are the two different types of synapses. Inhibitory and excitatory synapses, Yahasan Watfa, according to their function. Either the synapse is inhibitory or 
it's an excitatory. Okay, so here, step by step, and last part, after applying stimulation as one. This has a what for? After applying stimulation as one, what happened in the tracing? This tracing A, what happened? Yes, Dr. Hassan, what for? What do you think? It shows, it shows after, the after applying, hey, uh, before we start, before we start, step by step, relax. Before we start, you have to say, after applying simulation, S1 on neuron, which one? A port, which is A, on point A, on the region A. What happened? But that is only the type of synapse, whether inhibitory and excitatory. Since they mentioned, you have to specify it. So whenever they said specify, meaning that we have to justify. Yalla Hassan, start. The synapse between neuron A and motor neuron M. Okay. It's... It's an inhibitory synapse since tracing a document in document two. Uh, S1 is, shows a hyperolization. It shows what? Hyperpolarization. What the meaning of hyperpolarization? What does the hyperpolarization mean? In, uh, increasing in the. Uh, Describe to me, please, Hassan, what the meaning of hyperpolarization? Hyperpolarization. Yes, what the meaning of hyperpolarization? Yes, uh, it is um, when mm. the membrane potential yeah. becomes more negative and uh, uh, if this one we don't know it has under high what is the hyperpolarization this is a big problem that's why I told you that you have to study the notes you Hassan before we start with the exercises that you have to know the, the notes before we start the exercises you and others yeah so most of you didn't study the notes so how did you solve the exercises and you said that this is this uh, notes they are not important not usual okay by the way okay so hyperpolarization what the meaning of hyperpolarization we have increase in the negativity below the resting potential below minus 70. so this means that there is no action potential so here the synapse between a and the motor neuron is said to be an inhibitory synapse since we have decrease in the membrane potential below the resting so we can have increase in the negativity so no action potential and no transmission of the nervous message so this one is said to be the synapse is said to be an inhibitory synapse moving now to part two part s2 sorry the stimulation two so stimulation two what happens at the level of the stimulation two what do you think rama after applying stimulation two first of all Stimulation two, we have to know that stimulation two is between what? It's between C and the motor neuron M. This is stimulation two. Okay? Yes, Ram. What do you think? Yes? Rama, can you hear me? Yes, you can speak now. I think she had a problem in the connection. I don't know why. Or in the microphone. Let's move to Badia. Yes, Badia. What do you think about S2? After applying the stimulation S2? After applying stimulation S2? Yes. Uh, in tra tracing, the B, tracing B? Yes. Uh, document 2 shows uh, excitatory uh, synapse. So, excitatory synapse. You said excitatory, but you have to justify this. You said that the synapse between C uh, and the uh, motor neuron M, it's an excitatory one. Justify uh, since uh, the membrane potential increased from minus 70 to about minus 65, 66? Minus 65, minus 66, it's okay. So we have increase in the membrane potential. So this one is said to be an excitatory, excitatory. synapse. Thank you. Very good. So let's move now to stimulation 
S3. I said that you have to correct it here. This one is S3, okay? This one is S3. So what do you think about this? Yes, uh, Muhammad, what do you think about S3? Yes, S3 is uh, quite similar to S2. After, after applying the stimulation, okay. number three, uh, the tracing shows that, uh, that the graph was above the poten was the above the resting potential. So this it means to was, above uh, minus sixty on the vote. So this one is sixty or minus fifty. It's okay. an excitatory synapse. Excitatory synapse. That's it. Thank you. So here we said that S one is an inhibitory, S two and S three they are excitatory. Now Selena in the last uh, recording, they did S four and S three together. We said that. Here is S3, so don't confuse here. Maybe hey, S3. So here we did S4 and S3 together. How can you identify the type of the synapse between S4, between the D and the motor neuron? Here is S4. So what can you say about this? Yes, Selena. The synapse between neuron D and B? Uh, the synapse between neuron D and la, the motor neuron M. All of them, they are between the neurons and the motor neuron M. It's excitatory. Excitatory, what? Because there was a hypopolarization. There was a hypopolarization. First of all, if we have, a fear, first of all, we did SC3. So pay attention to this, uh, Selena. We did SC3, okay? S3 alone, it increases to about minus 60 millivolts. So we have increased in the membrane potential. So we have here hypopolarization, right? Yes. Then we did S4 and S3 together. So here we have hypopolarization, but it's less than the normal one. So it's about minus 65 approximately. So what do you think about S4? S4 is excitatory or inhibitory? Inhibitory. Why? Because it didn't reach the threshold. It didn't reach the threshold. Not exactly. It didn't reach the threshold by Namahon. As Anna was S3 alone, it increased to about minus 60, right? While S4, Maha S3 together, this is like minus 65. So Hon S3, what does it do? S4, sorry, what does it do? S4 amulet inhibition. So it decreases the membrane potential for this. That's why it's said to be an inhibitory one. Okay? So here, S4, amulet inhibition, yani S3, la wahda, it increases to minus 60. By now, S4, ma S3, it increases to about minus 65. So, al minna. So, we will have an inhibitory role for the S4. That's why it's said to be an inhibitory synapse for S4. Okay? Mashal Hal Selena? Yeah. Okay, Muhammad, your question. Uh, it says, uh, is there a synapse more excitatory than another synapse? Uh, it depends. It depends. It depends not on the synapse itself. It depends on the neurotransmitters that are found in the level of this synapse. And it depends on the neurons that are found. So, Mafi, we can find an own and hide the synapse. He excitatory more than this synapse. You have to look to the, for the conditions. Okay? You have to look for the conditions. Okay. Mr. Halnak in the port A, any questions before I move to the ports B and C? Okay, great. No questions. Okay, so we have precursors of labeled neurotransmitters. What are the neurotransmitters? Uh, this note is already already we covered in the introduction of the nervous system. So what is the neurotransmitter? Neurotransmitters, they are the chemical mediators that allow the propagation of the nervous muscles. Example about this, the acetylcholine, the GABA, and we we'll talk about dopamine, morphine, and we we'll talk about other P substance in caffeine, and others. All of them, they are neurotransmitters. So here we have the precursors of labeled neurotransmitters. Pay attention to this part. We have precursors of labeled neurotransmitters with a radioactive isotope. So we have radioactivity are injected in the terminal buds. So here they are injected here in this region between B and D. This allows us to follow the path of the neurotransmitter, always the radioactivity it allowed to determine the fate of the substance. The one I'm true. So they must have to radioactive substances. They aim to detect the fate, where they are going, what is the final destination, and what is the final 
uh, path or a route for them. So this allowed the fo to follow the path of the neurotransmitters at the activation of the synapse by studying the autoradiographs. Document four give results obtained after labeling of two neurotransmitters. From now on, let's call it hafizonidol, acetylcholine, and gamma aminobutyric acid. GABA. So acetylcholine, ACH, and gamma aminobutyric acid, which is the GABA. So GABA and, and acetylcholine, they are two different neurotransmitters. So here in this table, we have the legend that says, minus we have absence of radioactivity, plus we have presence of radioactivity, while two pluses, we have high quantity of radioactivity. Let's start step by step. Here we have two effective stimulations. They did effective stimulation, S3 home. Here we did S4, then S3. So they did S4 stimulation, then S3. Here in the injection, after the injection of the labeled precursor of what? Of acetylcholine. So here in the first two, they work on the acetylcholine. This is the first neurotransmitter. So radioactivity on M1, the level of M1. So here we have M1 and M2. So we have to detect where is the neurotransmitter playing the role, where at the level of M1 or at the level of M2. So first, when we have radioactivity of M1 after the injection of acetylcholine, so we have highly radioactive in M1, while in M2, there is no radioactivity. So this means that Radioactivity is detected only at the level of M1 and not at the level of M2. While after applying this S3 stimulation. So after applying the S3 stimulation, we have highly radioactive amount in M1, as shown in document one here. This is the M1. While no radioactivity at the level of M2 after applying the stimulation S3. While after applying S4, then S3, what happened? The radioactivity of the acetylcholine, it decreases. We have radioactivity and it remains absent at the level of M2. Here, what can you deduce about the neurotransmitter? Here, the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, it plays a role at the level of M1 or at the level of M2, justify your answer. The radioactivity, where it's detected, it plays the role. So where is the role of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine? At the level of M1 or at the level of M2? Justify your answer. Yes. Let's see. Where is the role of the neurotransmitter? It works at the synapse M1, at the level of M1 or at the level of M2? Justify your answer. Yes, but yeah, what do you think? Uh, where's the level of M1? Yes. Uh, since... Uh, and the results, the radioactivity of M2 uh, was absent. Was absent. So radio, no radioactivity of the acetylcholine. So no acetylcholine at the level of M2, either with S3 alone or S4 with S3. Why? When we have S3 stimulation, we have highly amount. Since S3 is one of the what excitatory synapse, S3, it leads to the excitation, as we see here. So we have excitation. While when we did S4 and S3, we have radioactivity but it decreases due to the inhibitory role of the synapse due to the S4. So here we can deduce that acetylcholine is playing a major role at the level of M1 and not at the level of M2. While moving for the GABA, the second acetylcholine GABA. GABA, we detect the radioactivity of the GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid at the level of M1 and M2 after applying also both the simulation S3 and S4. S3, as you see, there is no radioactivity either at M1 or at M2. Why? When we apply S4 and then S3, so no radioactivity also is detected at the level of M1. So this can be explained that M1 is not the uh, working site or the action site of action for the GABA. While at M2, Whenever we did S4 and S3, we have high amount of GABA. In this case, we can determine that GABA, the neurotransmitter, it has an inhibitory role. Why? Because it works whenever we have a function of the inhibitory synapse. So from the results, they said 
what are the terminals of neurotransmitters that play a role in each synapse? So acetylcholine, we said it works at the level of M1, while at the level of M2, we have the GABA. That's why after applying S4 with S3, the amount of the actual potential difference, the, the level, the amplitude, it decreases. Why? Because S4, it has the GABA. GABA, the neurotransmitter that has an inhibitory role. So it inhibits the function. It has an inhibitory function. So suggest for C, an explanation for the mode of action of neurin D on neurin B. This is the one that I was asked, talking about right now, about the action of GABA on the acetylcholine. So first, part A, the synapse between the neuron A and the motor neuron M, this an inhibitory. Why? Because tracing in document two, tracing A, upon the stimulation as one shows hyperpolarization in Hassan. Well, the meaning of hyperpolarization is from minus 70 to about minus 72. So it decreases below the resting potential in human. So below the resting, so it decreases below the normal, the resting one, minus 70. So it's a hyperpolarization. So it's an inhibitory synapse. However, synapse between C, neuron C and the motor neuron M, it's actually why? Because we have an increase in the level of the membrane potential. We have hypopolarization decrease in the negativity after applying stimulation as two while stimulation between neuron b and motor neuron m is an inhibitory so tracing of document uh, three tracing a, a stimulation as i told you you have to correct it it's not as two it's as a three so we have high popularization to minus 60. so here also it's an excitatory while the fourth one it's an inhibitory why because as one shows a hyperpolarization also, synapse between the neuron D and the neuron B is an inhibitory. Why? Because we have in tracing B of document three, tracing B, the second one, which is this one, tracing B, this one, the small, the tracing B of document three, it decreases. So it's obtained upon two stimulation, S3 and S4 together, a hyperpolarization from minus 70 to about minus 65. While with S3 alone, it shows only minus 70 to about minus 60. So it's, hard, it's uh, for example, greater or it's more effective. Why? Whenever we have the two stimuli, S3 and S4, it decreases to minus 65 and not to minus 60. It increases to minus 65 and not to minus 60. So this amplitude is smaller than the one applied with S3 alone. So here, S4, it has an inhibitory role it inhibits the effect of the neuron B on the motor neuron M. Part B, upon the stimulation of S3, following the induction of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is radioactive. So radioactivity appears in high quantity only in M1, while it's present in small amount when S3 and S4 stimulation they are applied together. So acetylcholine, it works at the level of M1. However, after applying stimulation as a three, following the injection of the radioactive gamma aminobutyric acid, the GABA, this no radioactivity appears. While applying as a three and as four, radioactivity appears where? At the level of M2. So this indicates that GABA is found at the level of M2. Yes, but yeah. Uh, Stas, can you go back to the table of the GABA and uh, alkaline? Yeah, acetylcholine. Yes. Uh, why uh, in, in the S3? Yes. Uh, there was there was absence of radioactivity, while S4 and then S3 there was. Uh, uh, you are talking about you are Even talking about the GABA. GABA, right? The GABA. Whenever we inject the GABA. Yeah. Right. Yes. Here. Yeah. At uh, this section. Yes. Yeah. This one. Right. Yes. Okay. So here yeah. you said whenever we yes. did S3 for both of them. S3. Where is S3? S3 is here, right? S3 is between yes. stimulation uh, between the neuron B and the motor neuron, right? Yes. So when we did S3, what do we have? We have excitation. Yes. So both of them, they don't have the radioactive of the GABA. From here, if you remember, when we talk about the GABA and the acetylcholine in the introduction, acetylcholine and GABA, they have opposite function. They are antagonists. Acetylcholine mainly, it has mostly, and some uh, uh, special cases, has an inhibitory, but mostly acetylcholine has an excitatory function. It leads to the excitation of mostly the skeletal muscle. 
So T to the excitation. While GABA, it has an inhibitory role. It leads to the relaxation of the muscles and even it leads to the paralysis, if you remember when we talk about this. That's why S4 and ST3, when we apply both of them, in the level of M1, there is no radioactivity. Why? Because it's an excitatory level. Why? When I apply it at the level of M2, it has an inhibitory role. That's why it appears the GABA. The GABA appears whenever we have a role of inhibition, not of excitation. And this is part three, but yeah, we're going to talk about this in details in part C, okay? Yes, okay. okay. Hamad, question before we continue? Yes, yani maybe if uh, we injected uh, acetylcholine on S3 alone, it will be positive for radioactivity, right? S3, uh, when? Al 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 wahde? Hon? If you reject S3 alone? Yeah. Uh, S3 alone here. With acetylcholine, we have radioactivity. Oh, I S3, okay. S3, hon. Hon S4 and S3, mahal. Acetylcholine, handy radioactivity, but al. Yani the amount of acetylcholine is going to decrease. This means that excitation will decrease. Okay? Mr. Han? Okay, so now we're going to talk about part C. So neuron D. Where is the neuron D? Where is the neuron D? As we look at the figure, this is the neuron D. Neuron D, the synapse between neuron D and motor neuron M is an inhibitory function. If we call it inhibitory, we call it regulatory, we call it modulatory function or attenuating function. Attenuating, for example, كلنا بس نحكي بكرة عن سين نحكي about the immune system about the immune system بس يعطوه vaccine هلا ال vaccine شو هو vaccine خلينا نحكي على مرة عشان بعدين حنحكي عنه in details بس نوصل about the nervous the immune system attenuated toxin بس يعطوه vaccine يعطيك for example vaccine لل coronavirus لل covid nineteen شو بكون لل covid nineteen يعطيك covid but it's a very 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 attenuated يعني كتير مخفف so هيدا المخفف يعمل لك immunity against the COVID-19 so as I said فيه يغري جسمي يتعرف عليه وبيقتل this is the meaning of attenuating attenuating or attenuated here attenuating function يعني بتخفف it decreases the effect of a neuron B فأنا neuron B عنده excitation when a neuron D and the motor neuron has an inhibitory function an inhibitory synapse so here neuron D has an inhibitory function it decreases the effect of the neuron B. So stimulation carried by S4 and S3, but yeah, this is your question, decrease in the effect of B on M. So what is this decrease? It decreases the exocytosis of the acetylcholine. So acetylcholine. So the nerve message transmitted by D, by S4, it causes the exocytosis of GABA. And GABA and acetylcholine, it So here, what do D بتعمل لي exocytosis of the GABA. So the GABA إيش بيتخانق مع الأسيتيلكولين؟ So حيقعد على مطارح تعون الأسيتيلكولين. That's why it decreases the effect and also it decreases the activity of the or the radioactivity of the acetylcholine. So here GABA, as I said, it binds to the receptors of the neuron B. What does it cause? It causes hyperpolarization. لسميناها نحنا IPSP inhibitory post synaptic potential. This hyperpolarization, it prevents the neuron B from reaching its the threshold of depolarization. So when ST3, it leads to the excitation of, exocytosis, sorry, of acetylcholine, but it's in the lower amount, not in the case of the normal. This produces excitatory post-synaptic potential, but in a smaller amplitude. And this here can be explained here at this level. So here, when we do an injection of the radioactive acetylcholine, ST3 is in a high radioactivity. So here, we have excitation and the APSP, excitatory post synaptic potential. Also, S4 and ST3, we have excitatory post synaptic potential, but it's a lower level due to the low amount of the excitatory neurotransmitter, which is the acetylcholine. But yeah, you have a question or you forgot your hand raised? Oh, no, no, I just forgot to talk. Okay. Off. Any questions, Mr. Han, I can look. So this question is very important. Very important question. Yani, le baadu manu, there is notes. Ana ba kid la khala ba hayd la session. Kan mish aarish yani hyperpolarization, yani depolarization. Kan hayd a mishkul. So notes, I told you, is very important to study. And they are very important in order to start with this chapter. Shift to write a su'al. And they talk about. Hyperpolarization, hyperpolarization, excitation, threshold of depolarization, 
and hepatitis synapse, excitatory synapse, neurotransmitters, function of the neurotransmitters. So I had a soal over including all of the notes. And this question is very important to solve and to work on. So I had a vagina and action potential, in an action potential phases, in about the neurons, neurotransmitters, I'm not sure if any motor neuron, but I'm not sure if any associative neuron or interior neuron. I'm not sure if it's a أنا مش عارف أستل كلاين عنده أكسيتاتري رول أو أسأل الجاب عنده إنهيبيتري رول أنا أوريدي بعرفهم so this will help me in this question هيساعدوني كتير بالإكسيرسايز كيف لحله وهيدول كلهم بيساعدوني كمان الأكشن بوتنشلز والدوكيمنتس 2 and 3 will help you please note الدوكيمنت 3 ما تنسوا تظبطوها this one بتظبطوها ما تخلوها أس 2 تعملوها أس 3 ظبطوها بليز بس سكر ظبطوها على كتابكم أو إذا كتابكم حطكم بليز Correct this as S3 and not as S4. Okay? Dr. Hafiz. This is everything for our session for today. Thank you.